I am back for another weekly challenge, and this week I decided to create a junk journal from this envelope. That was one of the prompts in the challenge. Cindy's video from It Doesn't Have to Be Perfect will also be linked below, and you'll be able to see what she creates utilizing the three prompts. My Facebook group, Two Old Crows Mixed Media, is sponsoring this weekly challenge, and I hope you will come and join us and participate by posting what you create within our group. My name is Peg, and I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you will take a moment and subscribe. I like to produce videos that are short and to the point. The notification bell lets you know when I upload additional content. So for this challenge, we spin the wheel. We receive three mixed media items off of the wheel spin, and we utilize those to create whatever we choose. So I hope you will join us and post what you've decided to create in the Facebook group. So now I'm going to turn it over to Cindy and get this week's items. I'm back spinning for week five for the Wheel of Wonder. The first item is a toilet paper tube. The second item is an envelope and the third item is emboss well that's it I can't wait to see what you create with a toilet paper tube an envelope envelope and embossing as I mentioned before, I'm creating a journal out of the prompts that we have this week, which is the toilet paper tube, the envelope, and embossing. I am going to do that in black and white. So the first thing I'm doing here is just creating some paper to cover the envelope and to use inside that journal. And it is going to be a black and white piece. I have chosen so to do it in uh, botanical and I've picked some leaves out of my yard and I have laid those down on my gel press on Mars black ink or Mars black paint, a thin coat on the press and I am pulling them off, putting them on a piece of paper, rubbing a second piece of paper over the top so I'm getting the positive image and the rub off. Now I'm going to pick up that ghost image on top of the rub off and there you have a pretty nice print. We also have that negative image that we pulled. So I'm going to continue to do that. I will pull in a little bit of gold in the, the future. I am going to put the leaves on top of that negative imprint and get kind of a combined imprint as well. So I think we've got a good start.
Now to get the cover ready, we have all the papers that we're going to be utilizing for the decoration of this little journal, but I want to emboss, it's adding in that prompt, emboss, I'm going to emboss the flap of this envelope. So I'm putting the flap only inside my embossing folder, running that over to my Big Shot and giving it one pass through have to do that twice because the folder is not long enough to accommodate the flap. So I'm just trying to line the image up. Now I'm going to be cutting the images that we created on the gel press. So I've taken a measurement and I'm just cutting those to size and we'll be gluing those on the front and the back of each envelope to kind of create the um, inside cover and the outside back cover of this little journal. This one is my favorite image. It has a little bit of the gold hint in it, and that is going to become the front of our little journal. Just going to ink around the edges as I lay this down. So if there's any white showing, it kind of has that distressed, that black distress look to it. And I'm using art glitter glue and I will just glue that down. And I am gluing the envelope shut. I have decided not to make pockets. You could, however, um, cut yourself a little thumbprint or a, you know one of those little half circles and create a pocket out of the inside front and inside back of this. I decided not to. I'm laying some gold ink on my gel press and I'm just going to tap that embossing over that gel press. So I'm creating that um, golden highlight on the little emboss that we put on the envelope flap. And you can just see me here going through the choices of the papers that I want to use on the front and the back. So we have four sheets that we need to come up with. One for the front of the envelope and one for the back of the envelope. The side where the flap folds over will become the inside of our booklet right here, or the cover, I mean, of our booklet. And the back will become the inside covers. And now I want to cover up the inside of that flap, and I've chosen just a black cardstock. And I'm just gluing that down, and then I will trim around that flap. Easy enough, right? There we go. We'll let that dry, flip it over, and give it a trim. There, and that will look nice when you open that up. Now I want to add a spine on this book. So what I've done is cut cardstock and scored a spine or just took two scores down the center, a half, not a half inch, but a quarter inch apart, and then glued that onto the envelope. So it now has that little spine from the score marks and of course the cardstock will hold that in place. So now I'm just kind of choosing some um, images for the inside covers <clears throat> and we'll get those glued down. 
here in a second. But there we go. And now we have the outside cover and the inside cover complete. Yeah, that's going to look nice, don't you think? <clears throat> Let's just turn this up. Make sure we don't have anything sticking out that shouldn't be. And we'll ink around the outside edge to give it kind of a finished look. A little distressing, a little inking. There, now let's measure this and see what size we need to cut our paper for, for the signature. So I just have measured that. I'm going to cut this just plain white paper down into the size that will work well for the inside of those two envelopes. And I'm not sharing dimensions because, you know, envelopes are, I don't know what size envelope you're going to pick up if you choose to make this project. So. I just measured it, so I had the complete width minus a half inch and the complete height minus a half inch. And that will give me about a quarter of an inch leeway on each side. So I'm just going to fold that in half and see it fits nicely in there. And now we'll grab that craft pick and bind this in with some embroidery thread. I'm just going to measure to the center and make my mark and measure a quarter inch from each end. So I'm going to put that hole through the spine first and then I'll put the hole through the center of the signature that I've marked and then line those two holes up together. I'm threading up embroidery thread on a needle and we will go through the center hole first from inside to back and then we will come up through one of the end holes from the back to the inside. We'll go back down through that center hole and then come up through the second end hole from the back to the front and then we will tie that off in a little square knot. And there we have the signature bound in. Simple as that. Let me get, make sure I get it good and tight. There we go. And I'm going to leave these threads dangling because I'm going to tie a charm on the end of those. So now we need to get a closure. And for that, we're going to use the toilet paper tube. And I'm going to run this toilet paper tube through the same embossing folder that we did on the envelope flap. So I'm pulling that embossing folder out. We'll stick that toilet paper tube down in there. And I'm looking for the same one, but I'm just going to make sure that I have flowers. I think this one's slightly different, but we'll work with that. So I'm going to stick that in the embossing folder, run it through the big shot. And now we have a toilet paper tube that has the dimension. We'll ink that up just so you can see that. I'm going to ink it with uh, black. And I'm going to dry brush that with a little gold. So I am pulling out a dry fan brush here. Just getting a little bit of gold on it and I'm just going to go over the top 
of where I've already inked and just add that gold to this toilet paper tube. I have a hole punch, a one inch hole punch. I'm just going to cut our little circles out and that's what we're going to use to place a ribbon underneath. So I have now used the envelopes, I've used the toilet paper tube, and I've embossed both the envelope and the toilet paper tube. So I have used all three of the items that were in the weekly challenge. And let's just paint the back. I cut four one inch circles because I'm going to sandwich my ribbon inside these circles. It's just ink around the outside edge of them with some black. Okay, now let's just lay that ribbon down in between these two circles. We'll lay the ribbon on one, glue it, and then we will glue the other kind of halfway off the envelope flap and then attach the ribbon to the back of that. So we have the ribbon sandwich in between the two one inch circles. So we're measuring to get them in the center, putting it in one half inch or one half of the circle onto the flap, sandwiching the ribbon, and that's creating a nice little medallion to hold our ribbon in place. And we'll tie that ribbon together. And that completes the closure. So now to trim it up, and get ready to add a charm to the embroidery thread that is sticking out. So I'm going to tie this charm to both pieces of that embroidery thread. So we have one charm with both tied. I'm moving that jump ring back and forth to make sure that it is closed securely, adding a little strength to it and making it a very tight closure. So that completes this project. So this is the end result, this little junk journal created out of two envelopes, and it just has a plain white signature in it, and I have gone back and stamped some leaves on each of those pages. So there you have it. I hope you will hop over to my channel and subscribe and join us for future endeavors. And the content button, of course, lets you know when we upload additional content. We're trying to upload content that challenges on Friday, Simple Saturdays, Supply Sundays, and Technique Tuesdays. I've added a couple of playlists here that I think you may enjoy. So thank you so much for stopping by, and bye for now.